And for our next bout, please welcome to the black corner. An Inserto! And please welcome to the white corner representing Bad Company Jim in Leeds, Ellis Lacey! And this boxing rules bout takes place in the minus 80 kilogram light heavyweight division and will be contested over three two minute rounds. Your referee in charge when the action gets on the way, Mr. Robert Burke. Okay, we have another boxing bout. It's Juan Inseto in the black corner versus Ellis Lacey in the white corner. These fighters are 80 kilograms. So it's three two minute rounds. Okay, and here we go. So, Ellis Lacey, the, the taller fight in the red and black shorts. One in the blue and like a light blue sort of shorts. And there's a big height, height difference between yeah, the two, isn't there? Very big. I mean, I know you shouldn't state the obvious, but. Yeah, you've also got your Southpaw versus um, Orthodox stance as well. Yeah, this is different cultures, different shapes and sizes. I mean, these two couldn't be any further apart. Yeah. Inseto doing a good job of just Staying there in the pocket with him punching range. Yeah, he is, yeah, And not, not doing a lot, yeah, he's isn't not he? Getting reckless. He's not no, getting reckless. He's defending that jab, just parrying it yeah. out of the way and uh, just staying there, not wasting a lot of energy. Again, taking a good look at what Ellis Lacey brings to the table. Sometimes when I see a fighter, how, how one is, is uh, as if he's waiting for that one big shot to throw. 
Yeah, he's, it does look like he's looking to get his feet in the right place and then explode yeah. with that uh, left hand. Yeah. Sorry, the right hand. The right hand. I, I mean, people like that, when I, when I used to fight taller people, I would set him up for the overhand right. It worked, worked nearly every time because we're taller. Mm. You know, I always find taller people, they always have the, seem to have the guard a bit lower because you're smaller. What, what about southpaws? Southpaws, oh, they were always awkward. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, uh, I only fought a few southpaws, luckily. But I've sparred with lots of southpaws, you know, and I, I, I used to train with pro boxers as well, train with pro boxers uh, for my fights. Uh, they were always awkward. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. They say the shot against the southpaw is the straight right, don't they? The uh, I don't know. I, 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 Depends, I mean, because uh, depends on footwork with people as well. But yeah, straight right is good against a, a, a southpaw. You tend to, I know when you throw a jab against a southpaw, you tend to mo you move a lot with your left as well, and you tend to just walk into their their power hands. Theirs, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I remember the first time I ever sparred with somebody who was southpaw when I was uh, boxing in the boxing gyms, and uh, yeah, I came out. My nose, my nose was like twice size it <laughs> were before I went in. It's a painful sport, the fight business, isn't it? Yeah, it is, It's a yeah. painful business to be in. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's not all glory no. and uh, happy days. Yeah. Round two underway, they both touch gloves again. Well, the first round, a bit of a phony war, really. Not much between the two. No, it's a feeling out process. Uh, been a bit more, match, more action in this one than the, the uh, previous bout we watched. Yeah. Uh, they have been mixing a bit more with both hands in this fight. You can see Juan's trying to... He's trying to soft, manoeuvre him. Yeah, he's trying to set him up and he's trying to find his way in. Yeah, he looks dangerous, one as well, doesn't he? Once yeah, he, he does, does start yeah. to unload, I mean, uh, I don't know why he doesn't throw body, some, to, body some head, shots at body head. actually first. Yeah. I mean, his corner's just shouting now, body head, body head, you know. He hasn't quite set the traps that uh, you'd hope for, that maybe no. he'd need against someone with this sort of height and reach. Alice looks like a, a clever fighter as well. Looks pretty experienced. He's got a good, nice guard on him as well. Yeah. He's having su success with the jab, to be fair. Yeah, he is, yeah. He's just pouring away all the time, isn't he? Yeah. Making it awkward for Juan. And that jab will be scoring. We'll yeah, be picking up punches. Possible, I mean, yeah. the one has missed more than he's landed, but Ellis landing with more frequency now. Yeah, he's maybe uh, uh, frustrating in Seto. Ellis is pretty bit more behind his shots. Yeah. Better work from in set uh, from yeah. uh, Ellis Lacey for me. Yeah. Back in again. Yeah. He's got that reach advantage where he can counter back quickly. Right, now being the third round, will we see one in Seto get a little bit more reckless? Throw a bit more caution to the wind? Yeah. Yeah, I think his corner is urging him to, to just go forwards all the time now. Third and final round. Yeah, one's corner's told him to, to be going non stop. This way, he just needs to do as well. He needs to push forward. I should imagine Lacey's corner have told him to just stick to what he's doing, really. Yeah, probably, yeah. you know, stick behind that jab. Those yeah. Don't do anything silly. Why change what you're doing if it's working for you? Yeah. yeah. 
Mm. Nice Oof, body shot. Lovely, sickening. Oof. And there we go. That's the first yeah. real time I've seen the backhand land for Inseto. Yeah. He needs that. He needs more of that. He's pulling away from that shot at the time. Well, again, that body shot. He maybe should have targeted that body early on. Yeah. Tried to bring those hands down. The taller man, Lacey. That's a lovely sort of uppercut to the body that uh, yeah. Lacey throws. Yeah, he keeps scoring those uh, left upper courts. Well, 17 odd seconds to go in this yeah. round now. I think Lacey's just been playing safe all the way through. He's done the right thing. Yeah. Again, that nice uppercut. Yeah, it's been a workman professional light performance yeah. from Ellis Lacey. I would think he'll get the nod, but. Yeah, I think so. We'll see what the. Can we get BXGP promoter George to the ring, please, to present the trophies? That's BXGP promoter George to the ring to present the trophies. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big round of applause, please, for both men. Are the three superb rounds. And at the end of those three completed rounds of action, we go to your judges' scorecards, where we have a unanimous decision, all three in agreement with your winner. In the white corner, Ellis. Yep. Unanimous uh, decision. And show your appreciation for our brave Ellis runner, Lacey, Juan Enceto. Comfortable win for him, really. Just to play, just just to let you know, ladies.